Hey guys, um, doing another episode. We're going to call this episode two. Hope everyone's having a great grow out there. We're going to call this episode two on the uh, aeroponic rail system, a little more in-depth uh, video series here. Uh, today we're going to talk about the reservoirs I have for the uh, aeroponic uh, system here. Um, we have two tubs. Uh, they are a uh, super box, the 27 gallon super box. Uh, available at uh, Lowe's. That's where I got them. Um, two tubs. Uh, both of them, they say they're 27 gallons. They may be, but uh, the two together hold 42 gallons of fluid that I have in them, nutrient uh, solution. There is 42 gallons of solution. I know that because of my flow master when I filled it. It told me exactly how much uh, is going in there. Um, I have one uncovered and one covered just to, so I can show you the two. First off, uh, the two are connected together at the pump down there. That's a one inch uh, T fitting uh, that connect both reservoirs together. Um, so they work uh, dependently with each other. Down in uh, side there you can see I have a uh, one inch electrical conduit fitting, the gray fitting. There is an O-ring on this side. This is the female and the male is connected down here at the T fitting. So the O-ring is in the inside of the reservoir container and that's just hand tightened. That comes over to an elbow that comes up to that filter there. Uh, like I said, both are identical. So on this side right here, there's also a filter just like that. Uh, the filter I feel is important uh, on the aeroponic system especially because of the misters. Anything, one little fine piece of shaving from uh, construction from the PVC can cause the mister to clog. So uh, the filter works for twofold reasons for me. One is obviously it filters out debris that could possibly clog up uh, the misters within the system. And number two, it acts as a uh, bacterial biological station uh, for bacteria in the system. And why I say that, if you recall, I'm using uh, Pure Blend Pro, which is an organic. Uh, organics typically work by having beneficial bacteria in your system uh, along with the um, emulsions that, that uh, create the uh, uh, nutrient solution, you know, uh, to feed on. So when I clean this system, and I'll get into the, more of this when I do a new change and a res change, those filters are very important because they have beneficial bacteria. So they have to be cleaned in a specific way that you don't harm that bacteria. But basically, there's a filter, so it works as a two-fold for me. That does elbow up. Um, right there is the uh, auto top-off valve. And if I press it and you listen closely, you'll hear it start to fill. I don't know if you heard. Let me show you what the... You'll actually see the water jump. And what happens is, as the plants use the nutrient solution, obviously, uh, dechlorinated and filtered water is added to the system. Now that the plants are bigger, I've noticed my pHs I used to go for a couple days and I wouldn't have much of a fluctuation. Now that they're larger, uh, usually every two days I have, I'll go from like, I like to keep it as a 6.0, I'll go to like a 6.3, 6.4 in two days. That's because my tap water coming in is a higher pH and it dilutes the pH in my system. So, but it does keep it topped off, so that is a nice feature. Um, also in here, we have two air stones you can see penetrate through. One is over here closer to the filter side, and one is directly underneath the drain side of the uh, system. So this way, the nutrient solution coming out of the rails hits fresh oxygenization, oxygen, geez, that was a disaster, oxygenization. Ugh fresh oxygen uh, nutrient as it hits because obviously the plant would be using it and then we have some here a little closer uh, those are two large air stones they're pumping out a lot of air for that little uh, reservoir but I would prefer to have more than not enough 
And remember, over there, identical. There's two in there just like this. The only thing different about that side than this side is that top off. The top off only comes to this side. Uh, once again, we have our uh, half inch pipe that I run when I'm recirculating uh, the newts, if you recall. I'll shut down the rails, open this valve. There's one on each side. Basically, it's a giant uh, circulation. It just keeps circulating in the reservoir just to mix newts, mix pH, whatever like that. Most of the time, as you can see, it's off. Uh, the drain pipe comes in, uh, inch and a quarter pipe comes in, fits in. And how I did that was just basically by using, again, these are my favorite thing, these are electrical uh, components there. This one's an inch and a half size. So that fits right in there. And this one here, I believe, is a one inch size. Fits right in there. Uh, males on top, so the threads penetrate down, so you don't have to worry about no leaking. There is no fittings here. Don't have to be watertight. Uh, one other thing on this side res, I forgot to mention, there is a, uh, a temperature gauge. You can see right there, hopefully. It's reading right now 70. 4 point, there you go, a little reflection, 74.0 uh, degrees, that's what the uh, temperature of the solution is. That goes down, if you can follow along right here, penetrates in and drops down into this tank. So I do monitor what my uh, nutrient solution temperatures are. Um, basically, in a nutshell, that's the whole uh, res, uh, the reservoirs. You got, like I said, 42 gallons in each. Uh, the auto top off is very nice, uh, very nice to have. Now, that doesn't auto top off nutrient, only auto tops off uh, uh, dechlorinated filtered water. So, you know, uh, the nutrient still has to be monitored, changed out, and things like that. Um, but this is a little bit shorter video. So, uh, just to recap, we have our drain, our recirculation. Um, they're tied in at the base there. You know, oh one other quick thing the reason a lot of times guys will put these rails right down on top of their reservoirs and drain them directly in which is great i like being able to just real quick wow dropping stuff everywhere i like to be able to real quickly take a lid off boom and i got total access to the uh, res i can get in here i can clean it i can do anything i want to do i don't mind you know Literally, what did I lose from here to here? Maybe a foot in length of the system. But it is nicer, number one, having them outside the system away from the light. Number two, um, it makes it much nicer for changing out, res changes, clean up, and stuff like that. So uh, that's one reason I did move them out like this. Um, if anything, I would recommend these uh, super boxes to uh, anyone they're great because like I said basically got 21 gallons of water in that box and without no existing structure a lot of time guys use the Rubbermaid uh, containers and you need to build a frame around because they bow so badly these do bow slightly but not nearly next to anything and once you put the lid on they have these raised pieces that snap down in so it holds everything real nicely so uh, I think they're $14 at Lowe's. Actually, you can see right there, there's another one. Yeah, you see that? Something in the works right there. But anyways, what an addicting hobby. Um, they're like $14 at Lowe's. Well worth the investment. So if you guys have any questions on the reservoirs or anything like that, I will be making a, a video um, soon. I'm actually going to start it tonight on the... Um, reservoir change because I need to change out the solution pumping the system down doing a new change a, a clean up uh, some products I'm using so I'll be starting that soon uh, thanks once again to all new subscribers uh, everyone that's out there commenting and questioning uh, that's how we all learn uh, hopefully everyone's having a great grow inside or out and I'll catch you guys next time thanks guys